Well, good morning. It's Long Haul Tanker, straight razor shaving with Long Haul Tanker. And today is Tuesday, the 15th of October, 2024, at approximately 10.30 uh, a.m. And yes, we're staying with the moniker <laughs> Long Haul Tanker. I've spent so many years using that moniker. I, I I hate to say building that brand because it's you know you can call it a brand if you want to, but it's just it's just a moniker. It's all it is. It's not a money maker. It's not anyway. I won't go into all that, but a uh, little bit closer uh, to finding a job. Uh, I last two weeks or since the first of the month, uh, I've been in no mental shape to get on video and talk about the misfortunes uh, of my life. I'd rather come on and talk about how things are looking up, looking up. Uh, and so to the degree that they are looking up, you may recall, I've mentioned on a more than one occasion uh, that back at the first of this year, uh, in its wisdom, my former company terminated the um, management staff uh, at our terminal. Terminal manager, assistant terminal manager, maybe a couple other downline guys I don't know about. But those are the two that I know because I had the most frequent and daily contact, the terminal manager and the assistant terminal manager. Uh, so it wasn't... but you know, just a couple of days after my misfortune that I called this gentleman, the former terminal manager, and I said, hey, I hear you're back to working and, and uh, you're hiring drivers. He said, yes, I am. So I called him and da, 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 back and forth, back and forth. And we've set now a <laughs> um, small company. If the job comes through, it will produce more income, uh, uh, the uh, wage per mile is, uh, uh, it may not smell like, it may sound like uh, small beans, but five cents per mile, uh, it'd actually be a five cent raise over what I was formerly uh, getting. And so I call that a good thing. I call that a win. But the, the problem right now uh, is that I say problem. Uh, we set a date and then he texts me either the night before or the day of. And he says, I don't have a truck for you to drive. Uh, it's out on assignment right now. And so, all right. So I, I've been postponed three times for a, a, um, a driving test, a driving uh, evaluation. And I say evaluation, every company does this, uh, but especially, I say especially, uh, if you're going from one kind of truck to another kind of truck, if you're going from an automatic transmission to a manual transmission, they want to make sure that you can shift the, uh, the gear pattern. And I am going from, I was trained originally in 2006 and again in, uh, 2017, um, no, 2012, 2006 and 2012, uh, on uh, a 10-speed manual transmission uh, and drove for almost a year uh, on the 10-speed uh, manual transmission. Then got the job in 2012 with my company, my former company, and drove until 2017 where I went to work for a company that drove a 10 speed manual transmission. I stayed at that job for two months thinking that the grass was greener on the other side. And at the time I, you know, that was a bad decision. So I went back to the former company and where I'd remained all this time. So that's why I often say I've been with the company for about 13, 14 years minus two months. Cause those two months were with the company that I went to and drove a 10 speed manual transmission not having driven one for five, six years and picked up right on it. It didn't take long. So I expect much the same will happen. It's not a 10 speed manual transmission that I'm going to be going to, but rather a 13 speed uh, manual transmission. And it's got its own unique peculiarities 
And um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. How do you shift a 13-speed Eaton uh, manual transmission? And so I think it's going to be a walk in the park. I just need to get behind the wheel. Uh, my former manager to be my future manager has said, I just want to, I'm going to turn you loose with the truck for a day. Uh, I'm going to let you drive up and down the road uh, beside where the company's at and uh, practice on the 13 speed and let me know when you're ready, <laughs> ready for a road test, ready for an evaluation. So, and that's all fine and good. So uh, I just appreciate the opportunity of having the truck for a day, but it wasn't last Thursday and it wasn't last Friday and it wasn't yesterday <laughs> or, or today rather. It was supposed to be the third one uh, was supposed to be today, but it got postponed late yesterday afternoon. So now I'm back on for Thursday morning. So let's hope that all goes well and I'm able to get over there and, and run the truck for a day, half a day, you know, whatever, five hours, six hours, 12, however many hours it takes to get it down. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just good enough so that if they hire me and start assigning me loads, I can get out on the road with a a certain degree of confidence, even if it's not 100%, um, and, and turn me loose so that I'm not going to tear the whole thing up. So anyway, got me some coffee here I want to sip on. And so let's go over the equipment I'm going to use uh, for today. The um, For the last several shaves, I've been working off of my uh, Philharmonicas. Uh, this is an Inox uh, number 13, Jose Montserrat Pou, made in Spain on the backside, Fabric. Fabrication Espanol, made in Spain. Philharmonica Inox. Yeah. Jose Montserrat Pou, there it is. Anyway, very nice razor, very excellent condition. I wouldn't call this mint condition, but I would certainly call it excellent condition. And this is the best of the four. You've seen me use them before. It's been a while. I've been working off of them for the last... The last few weeks, along with the uh, uh, Boker 14er. I've used it a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. What else have I used? I've been... Oh, the uh, Simon Carl Monkhouse's. Anyway, uh, then this morning we're going to use the uh, Simpson Chevy 3 with um, Super Badger. Lovely brush. Love this brush. Put it back in the water to soak. And I've had this nice ceramic bowl. And almost from the beginning, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, I should say. And... I've had a um, uh, a puck of some kind of uh, kernel conch glycerin soap in it, and I've had it, I've used it. It's uh, diminished, of course. And so... Um, a couple of days ago, it finally, there was just, just a little thin, razor thin uh, wafer of soap left in the bottom. And so I took it out and packed this full of, of uh, cella, red Italian cella. And, the, and this was my kilo uh, box and I used about, it was already about 25% gone. And so I put a, another, sliced it in half and half again and packed it in there pretty good. And so that's what we got here. And I'm going to keep it stationed right beside the sink in the master bathroom.
And this will sit, yeah, I already said that, didn't I? It's going to sit right beside the sink with my uh, Art of Shaving home brush that I have sitting there right beside it as well. All right, I'm going to go with this. This is a... And this is a this is a very fine soap to use um, as a sink side regular. Um, nothing wrong with it at all. Good lather, good body. Um, old standby favorite of so many that because it's been around for so long. got the smell of almonds or cherries. I got the sound of some very relaxing music coming off of the TV from the guest bedroom right behind my left shoulder. And uh, I've been listening to a lot of that lately, I can tell you. You know, there's nothing more disturbing to the uh, human existence than losing a job, and per especially if it's under what's perceived as, as uh, false circumstances. Um or wrong, wrongful circumstances. The death of a spouse or child, um, losing a job is one of those kinds of life shattering experiences. And although I'm not fully recovered out of it, I have very high hopes for what's coming very soon. And uh, so I take up my camera <laughs> once again under the name of Long Haul Tanker. Because if it all goes well, that's what I will be. And certainly, it's certainly what I have been. And uh, And anytime you're in the moment, anytime you are in the throes of unhappiness, things have happened. Things are going to happen. That's just the nature of life. And uh, and so you take them in stride. Yeah, you got to get over them. It may take several days. But you got to bounce back and put the put the next foot in front of the other. All right, Enox, Philharmonica, delightful. These these four razors I've got, I've got two uh, Novo Doers and a uh, Subcero. And all, all four of them, and this Inox, and all four of them um, have been honed up on the um, uh, Shapton glass progression, uh, finishing at uh, f finishing at the uh, thirty thousand. You can hear my little buddy over here. Where are you? There you are.
Well, I wanted to come on camera today to let you know that I'm alive and well, kicking and recovering. Or at least doing my best to try. Which is maybe, you know, that's a figure of speech more than a statement of reality. Doing my best, I don't know. So I really don't have a lot to say this morning. Other than just I wanted to shave, get you on, get get myself on camera, show you that I'm still kicking. That's about it. So here I am. Well, I just heard the garbage truck go up one side of the street. He'll probably come back the other side. I don't know which is which, but he'll get come collect our garbage here in a little bit. If he hadn't done so already with that pass. Over the last couple of weeks, I have been watching the show videos of my compadres that I like to watch, particularly Bill M. and uh, Sean Staplefeld and Martin Shave Test. 
and Eric at the Cajun Blade, and Greg Gallant. I haven't been commenting, and so I just I just hope you'll understand that uh, it's been a tough time for both me and my wife. We've consulted with real estate agents. Are we going to have to sell our house? And what kind of a time frame are we looking at? See, it's all based upon how much cash you have on hand and how much you can weather the storm. And and I say the storm, which is to say, how long can you go on what you got without an income and still, <laughs> and still pay the freight on the overhead? Of course, you're going to take a hit, and that's never a good thing. And so all the real estate agents and other housing type people that you need to talk to, if we're going to sell out of what we got, what are we going to get into? And all, the, all of that becomes consideration. Downsizing amid distress is not a good place to be. And so there's a lot riding on getting this job with my former boss to be my new boss and everything looks good. He's put me off. Like I said, these three times. And I said to him on the phone, I said, I suppose what we're working toward is that you're going to have me come uh, check out on this 13 speed with a view toward hiring me on a full-time basis uh, sooner rather than later. He said, Oh yes, yes, of course. So there we are. And when things aren't going, when the general economy is not going well, what better assurance can you have than what I just got? So I've got to play the handout. The, uh, I got to play the handout as long as we'll go, um, to see where it goes. Uh, I do have one other application submitted at another trucking company, but it's just another one of these warehouse. I say warehouse. It's another one of these corporate jobs that you're a number and you mean nothing and nobody knows you and they don't care. And that's, you know, for the last couple of years of my working career, that's not exactly where I want to be.
Tell has always been a good working soap, and I, I learned early on how just how good it was, um, which is why I bought the big kilo block of it. I'm down to about maybe just a little less than half left on the big kilo, and I got a little red jar that's still, I don't know, halfway full. That's the one I use when I go on the road. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got, the, oh, okay, I know where I'm going. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Oh, that just feels lovely. <clears throat> nice sharp blade. The Philharmonics, of course, are known for being nice, thin, highly regarded, well-constructed blades. You get a good one, you'll never go wrong. Um, and the one thing I've always learned and heard others say is that if you're going to uh, go after a... Um, Philharmonica uh, straight razor, make sure that it says uh, Jose Montserrat Pooh on the tang, etched on the tang. That's the, uh, I, I don't know what generation he covers. You know, I hear about these different generations and there are people that talk about that and you can study up on it, but that's the important thing.
Oh, it's just fine, just fine. You know, I gotta say, I like the uh, big head of leather, uh, lather that the cello puts out and how thick it is on the face. I can water that down more. I could, you know, I could put so much more water into that and not lose much and not have it break down into just nothing. That That's just wonderful. Just wonderful. Wonderful. Yep. Nothing will make you feel better than a straight razor shave, baby butt smooth. 
it may not pay off your house. <laughs> but it might give you the will to keep trying. <laughs> and sometimes that's enough. Oops, there's a mess. I suppose that's the downside with too much lather, is that it goes everywhere in big globs.
I may have failed to have mentioned earlier that I'm in the hallway bathroom, not the master bath. I got up a little early this morning and stumbling around making coffee and
just chasing phantom whiskers that won't be there once my face is dried and healed up after the shave. I say phantom whiskers, they're there when you feel them, but they're there only because they're engorged with water and the pores are open and you know, whatever, the, whatever else makes hairs stick up. All right, let's give it a rinse off, do some finishing strokes on the face and finish with the head shave as usual. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there. And I'll do the head shave on my own. And so thank you for joining me so far. Uh, 
to this point and uh, wish me luck on Thursday. Uh, don't know that I need it, but that is to say, all good thoughts don't go to waste. So thank you for all the good wishes that you send my way. And I will see you down the road.